Okay, these are a couple that some people had asked for. This is uh, homework number 30, so the differential equations. This is number 6. So let's take a look at this. dy dx equals the cosine squared of y. And we have to separate the variables, so first of all we'll just write this as... So divide, uh, we'll put the x over here and put the y over there. So we get 1 over cosine squared y dy equals dx all right and then from there we know that 1 over the cosine is the same thing as a secant so we'll write that as a secant squared y dy equals dx okay then we'll take the uh, integral both sides squared y dy equals the integral of just dx or 1 dx. Okay. And then that's going to be the antiderivative of the secant squared is just the tangent, right? So it's going to be the tangent of y. And that's already set up, secant y dy, so that's already set up. Secant squared y dy, pardon me. And that's just going to equal x plus c. And a derivative of 1 is x plus c. And then we had some initial conditions when x equals 0, y equals 0. So I can put that in and I can find out what the c is. So the tangent of 0 equals 0 plus c, but the tangent of 0 is just 0, so 0 equals 0 plus c. That implies that c equals 0. So tan of y equals x. And then if we want to find out, you know, what y is, we just take the inverse tangent. So tan inverse of the tan of y. So I'll take the inverse tangent of both sides. Tan inverse. And that undoes that because they're inverse functions, so we end up with y equals Inverse tangent of x. Okay, that's number six. And then number eight, that was this one over here, dy dx equals e to the x minus y. So we have to separate that out. So that's the same thing as dx equals, and then we can write this as e to the x divided by e to the y. Is that okay? And then what have we got now? So we can separate the variables. So we get e to the y dy equals e to the x dx. And then we'll take the integral of both sides. e to the y dy equals the integral of e to the x dx. And it's already set up e to the u du, so we're all ready to go. So we end up that e to the y, and we'll just put the c on one side equals e to the x plus c. And now's a good time to find out what c is. So we had the initial conditions, x equals 0, and y when y equals 2. So we put this in, and we'll get e squared, e to the y, y is 2, equals e to the 0 plus c. All right, so we end up with e squared equals 1 plus c. That implies that c will equal what? Uh, e squared minus 1. Okay, which is a constant. It's just kind of hard to figure it out. So we just leave it in e squared so we get an exact value. So we have our final solution over here. This is going to end up being e to the y equals my e to the x plus c, and c is e squared minus 1. 
So we want to find out what y is, so we take the natural log of both sides, so the natural log of e to the y equals the natural log of this whole shebang, e to the x plus e squared minus 1. And then we can move the y in front, so we take the natural log of both sides, so y times the natural log of e equals this natural log of e to the x plus e squared minus 1. And we don't uh, have to worry about absolute values or anything like that. Okay. And uh, what's, e to the, what's the natural log of E? Once so we just end up with Y equals the natural log of E to the X plus E squared minus 1. Okay. So I hope I, that answers any of your questions. If you have any questions on that, you can just email me. I'll be here on the weekend doing these things, so... I'll try to do some more later. Okay. Good luck.